remember being hospitalized when I was 85 pounds and my best friend turning to me and going, I am so jealous. Jealous of you. I am so jealous. sense of self. It's being comfortable with yourself regardless of how much you weigh or how you look or if you have acne or anything like that. I think it comes all from within. I think you have to be comfortable in your own skin and be good with who you are and then by being happy and beautiful within you express that outwardly no matter what. It started when I was younger. I started dieting Mm, eight, nine, ten. It wasn't su super severe with me, but like it gets, it got to a point where I wasn't eating just because I wanted to lose weight, and it kind of got really unhealthy. And I had to have people like pull me back into reality and be like, "You need to knock it off. Like it shouldn't be like this." And also, my mother had an eating disorder as well, and she still suffers with it today. I have no idea. And that started when I was probably in my teenage years, and went till I was in my mid twenties. Um, mid to late 20s where I felt like I was bigger than I was and I just I don't, I don't know what triggered it I don't know if it was the media I don't know if it was me feeling I was not good enough or not perfect enough I remember developing sort of a body dysmorphic complex where I would look in the mirror and look at my collarbones or look at my chest bones and cheekbones and freak out when they weren't showing enough even though they were already protruding from my skin. I remember worshiping a scale and judging my self-worth based on the number that was looking back at me. I remember drinking water and eating ice chips for meals to try and trick myself that I'm eating and I remember the pain of my first meal when I was on my road to recovery because my stomach had shrunk so completely from starvation. Hell yes. Am I allowed to say that? Yes, you are. Um, okay. Initially, women are competing against men. But in that way, we're also competitive against other women because we need to be better than the other women before we can be better than the men because women are still put in a little position under men. Absolutely. So, yes. There's unrealistic expectations out there. Um, when you see pictures, a lot of times they're airbrushed. Um, you know, everyone looks like they have perfect skin and no one has wrinkles at the age of 50 and um, when we all know that, you know, we do. Um, so I think there's this unrealistic expectation that we have to meet and it makes us feel that we aren't good enough. I thought this was initially what a healthy body type looked like. Um, her thighs are thicker um, to someone who has an eating disorder. Her calves are shapely, but they're not... Her bones that stick out are proper bones to stick out. Collarbone, you can see a shoulder bone there. Her cheekbones are defined. It's probably not what she looks like. Um, that's before that we that's before we regulated Photoshop. Um, but and she's tall. That was nothing. I was always very short. There are many variables that add to the development of an eating disorder. But one thing we cannot denounce or refuse to acknowledge is the media's role on this the media's role in this. The portrayal to young girls of real thin models who barely eat to look more like the hangers for clothing people are advertising than human beings. Girls in young grades, elementary school, are shown TV shows of girls who are years older and on strict diets and they think that that's how they should look at their age when it's healthy to developmentally put on weight when you're in puberty. It's normal. It's normal and it's healthy. 
society teaches us to equate a number on a scale with beauty, with being attractive. And what lesson are we teaching girls? And the fact that eating disorders don't just go away. They go into remission and just like any other sort of mental disorder, it is that it is a disorder. It comes out on bad days and any survivor can tell you that it's something that you'll have to deal with for the rest of your life. There's no pill, there's no sort of magic cure. You adapt, you grow stronger and you move on. The statistics of relapse are terrifying. The social construction of women's body image is one that is not only completely unrealistic and unattainable, but something that is more harmful than beneficial in any, in any sense. It absolutely hinders girls and guys, but primarily focusing on girls in their development of self-worth, their development of self-esteem, and it hits at a very sharp angle. No one girl's story is exactly alike, but one thing we all have in common is that we went through it.